السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم معكم زياد آه اليوم ان شاء الله راح نكمل شرح ماده الهيلث ساينس ليسن 2 تشابتر 2 سو ذس ليسن از توكينج اباوت ديزيزز اند ديسوردرز اوف ذا ماسكولار سكيليتال سيستم سو فيرست ليتس نو وات ار ذا موست كومن كونديشنز افكتنج ذا ماسكولار سكيليتال سيستم فيرست ثينج فيرست از ارثرايتس اوستيوبوروسيس ساركوبينيا Uh, we have also common pain and inflammatory disorders. Um, so let's start with arthritis. Arthritis is a disease that affects the musculoskeletal system, especially uh, joints of the musculoskeletal system. Joints are parts of bones that are connect that connect bones together, uh, and they they usually give us the ability to move. It can develop in anyone, but it's usually uh, developing in people over the age of 65. So it's usually referred as, a, we refer to it as a degenerative disease, which means it is a result of uh, aging. And sometimes it's a result of an immune system disease. We'll talk about that now. Uh, it also affects uh, women more than men. and it's a non-communicable disease. So uh, we have two types of arthritis. The first one is osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. So the uh, osteoarthritis is uh, a degenerative disease. It's caused by normal human aging. And the second one is rheumatoid arthritis, which is an autoimmune uh, disease. It's caused by the immune system. Uh, attacking the body tissues and joints tissues especially uh, so signs and symptoms of arthritis might differ from one person to another but usually uh, they are pain around the joint it's lack of motion uh, stiffness of the joint so it's a little bit hard to move the joint and you can hear grating you might hear your joints throbbing and uh, swelling around the joint is a common symptom also. Uh, treatment of arthritis, well, there is uh, no full treatment, no cure for the disease, but we can take medications to reduce the pain. Uh, we can do surgeries to replace the damaged joints. And also we can uh, do some physical therapy or we can call it physiotherapy, to strengthen the muscles around the joints, which also uh, makes the movement easier. Now we are done with arthritis. Let's talk about osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a disease of the bones, and uh, it makes the bones weaker. Uh, and the bone marrow looks porous. It will make the bone tissues look morous, uh, porous. It causes pain and it causes the bones to easily fracture. It can develop in uh, people who reached their middle age, like in the 30s, 40s, uh, even 50s. And it also affects women more than men. It affects people who do not exercise or have uh, deficiencies in vitamin D and calcium. So vitamin D and calcium deficiency is uh, a huge cause of osteoporosis also the consumption of caffeine and fizzy drinks uh, might lead to osteoporosis some signs and symptoms of osteoporosis is the easily fracturing of the bones uh, it might cause back pain uh, because the bones of the back weaken uh, also stood posture So the person might have wrong posture. You might notice, notice that his posture is not right. And also loss of height because, because of the weakness of the, boy, uh, of the bones, the person will start getting shorter and the bones can't handle all the weight. So he will start getting shorter. Uh, treatment of osteoporosis. Well, we can treat it using diet. So we can change the patient's diet. We can avoid fizzy drinks and caffeine. We can enrich the diet with calcium and vitamin D. So if the person is taking enough supply of calcium and vitamin D, this 
might uh, cure the disease. Also doing weight-bearing physical activities, for example, uh, running or water aerobics and weightlifting. Any resistance, uh, resistance activity under uh, medical supervision, it might be helpful. And taking medications that slows the process of weaken, bone weakening is also helpful. Yeah. Uh, sarcopenia is, in medical terminology, usually refers to loss of muscle strength and loss of muscle mass. It's related to aging and poor uh, diet might increase the rate of developing the disease. It's usually, uh, it usually appears in people above the age of 75. It can begin er earlier, uh, but usually in people at the age of 75 or over. And people with bad diet uh, and they are not physically active, they might also develop the disease. They, have, they are more likely to develop the disease. Signs and symptoms of sarcopenia are frailty, uh, functional decline or difficulty doing everyday tasks. So the person might need someone to help him to do his usual everyday task. Reduced mobility, it's hard for him to move. And reduced muscle mass, the muscles in the body start shrinking because they cannot move and they are not uh, being used and general weakness in the body. Treatment of sarcopenia uh, is uh, usually doing exercises. Um, the patient can work with a physiotherapist to develop an exercise program that include resistance exercises so he can build the muscle mass again. So that's it for uh, diseases and disorders of the musculoskeletal system. Thank you for listening and see you in another video.